that's out of its teeth coming to you from somewhere in Georgia apparently in the fruitcake capital of the world here it's the Georgia Fruitcake Company I'm gonna go in and see what they got all right well that place was kind of a bust uh, not a factory not like a place where you could watch and make anything it's just kind of like a donut shop coffee house but what I did get is a fruitcake cookie it's got whatever that is on it and this guy I guess this is a kolache I'm not sure it's just sausage in a in a bun but I'm gonna keep looking all right further up the road from the last place that we were at is this place the old-fashioned Claxton fruitcake gonna give it another shot here the water tower up there says fruitcake capital of the world I don't know if you can see it but all right, that was the place that was this is the factory this is where we make all the fruitcake send it around the world at Christmas time got some fruitcake and I got a t-shirt it's a good stop so it's just driving away from the fruitcake capital of the world by the way there's also a city in Texas that claims to be the same thing so I don't know uh, but that was an interesting experience because you have a fruitcake factory there are a fa an actual factory that makes fruitcakes and ships and ships them all over the world and then you had this little tiny little shop who was also trying to be the fruitcake capital provider that statement doesn't make a lot of sense but you have the main factory and then you have this little upstart who's like no we can do it too I just feel like that takes a lot of guts and maybe a lot of cojones to pass yourself off as competition in a tiny little town known for the fruitcake factory. That's just something I was thinking about. I'm back in the Midnight Studios. I've been to Claxton, Georgia, the fruitcake capital of the world, so-called. Uh, I met the people in the factory. Really nice guy. Uh, he gave me some freebies. He gave me a brochure. But most importantly, I got the fruitcake and we're going to try it. I'm going to try it on camera. I don't think I've ever had this before. Now, Apparently, this fruitcake is a really popular fruitcake that, I mean, I didn't know this. Um, I'm not a fruitcake connoisseur, if you will. Um, but since I got back home with this, I've been asking around. And uh, this is a popular fruitcake. This is maybe the best-selling fruitcake in the country. So let's dig into it and see if it's worthy of the praise. All right, I've got a cut. This is my slice of fruit cake. As you can see, we've got all the candied fruit, some nuts. People don't like fruit cake. I don't know if I like fruit cake. I haven't had fruit cake in a long time. Um, my grandmother made a fruit cake that I really enjoyed when I was a kid, but that was a long time ago, decades ago, 20, probably 30 years since I've had that fruit cake. But I'm going to give this a shot. Wow, this is really, it's really tough. It's really dense. I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. So, the candied fruit is not overpowering to the dish or to the overall fruitcake. There's some raisins, maybe some figs. Maybe those are white raisins. Here, have a piece. Here, have some. It's probably not a diet food. But it's Christmas time, right? So it doesn't matter. If you go to claxtonfruitcake.com, you can get some of this stuff sent to you through the mail. I bought a t-shirt there. Uh, I bought the fruitcake. And I'll tell you what, it's a lot cheaper if you get it at this place than if you get it through the catalog. But hey, not everybody has access to Claxton, Georgia. I paid $3.99 for this slab of fruitcake. This fruitcake, 
Um, but if you order it through the website, I believe it's ten dollars. And their, their shirts are substantially more expensive through the website as well. So I guess that's a benefit. If you're in Georgia, outside of the Atlanta area, like a long way outside of the Atlanta area, uh, it's worth a stop. It's a cool place. And it's the fruitcake capital of the world. Let's not forget. So that's it. That's the fruitcake capital of the world and a review of the fruitcake from the fruitcake capital of the world. The little fruitcake cookie that I got from the lady who was not the official fruitcake factory, not the Claxton Fruitcake Company, uh, it was pretty good. It was actually really good. It tasted homemade. It had a home-baked quality to it. The little uh, kolache or whatever that thing was with the sausage in it, eh, I wouldn't eat one of those again. Not from there at least. But this fruitcake, for fruitcake, is pretty good. So uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time on Cereal at Midnight.